Good morning from Dubai and today I am making an outrageous statement because everybody is talking about the recession 2020 and I am talking about why this might not happen so make sure you stay tuned even I made a recession video look at that just a beautiful morning here in Dubai so actually I made a video about the recession 2020 have a look also I have seen a lot of youtubers uh, making uh, a video about the recession 2020 have another look the recession coming in 2020 or its potential and what should you do to prepare for it and what should you do when we have the recession how bad will it be all these sorts of things There's so in this video I want to talk about my personal prediction of when this recession will happen and defensive strategies that will help you prepare the best way and distance can tell if it's going to be an upcoming recession is by looking something called the yield curve so let's dive into it why might everybody is wrong about the recession 2020 So the reason number one why there might be no recession is actually the reason number one why people think there is a recession. If you think about um, why the people just got scared uh, recently, it was because the yield curve inverted. So the two years bonds, US bonds were uh, paying much uh, or more interest rate than the 10 year and this is mostly and uh, very very sure recession sign or that the recession will come historically speaking you know it was uh, i think never wrong and i totally will agree on that okay i even make a video about that so make sure you have a look and make sure also you subscribe and thumb up the videos to help this channel to grow and make your investment decision much easier because you will have great value content and I'm looking forward to have you on my community however if you're looking into the inverted yield curve that just happened uh, a couple of uh, days ago you will see that it was just the intraday inverted yield curve this means that towards the end of the day the yield curve was not inverted anymore and if you're looking into this inversion of yield curves it was during a couple of days or even weeks and then a recession came so maybe we are all wrong about it and maybe a lot of people don't see it that it was not a inverted yield curve that stayed and this is a big difference uh, in my opinion and uh, you know this happened also in, um, in other timings and we didn't have the recession so very important detail that maybe a lot of us don't uh, see and that's why maybe I think it's a one sign that we don't have a recession 2020. Another reason why I believe there's maybe no recession coming 2020 is because I look into the earnings especially companies like Apple you know consumer how is their guidance because guidance is really important you know these companies are uh, early indicator for recessions you know people don't buy con consumable goods or phones or this extra luxury things anymore if the recession is on the way and obviously a recession takes time to evolve but however you know if you're looking into uh, Apple guidance you know they uh, say uh, a, a bigger revenue than expected for this year they uh, saw better than expected earnings you know so I believe this is also good signs uh, especially for us uh, to see that there's no recession coming and I think this is the second biggest factor that you know uh, maybe there's no recession coming 2020 to us and uh, maybe some of us uh, will be wrong maybe there's a recession coming 2021 but uh, I believe you know this uh, factor of earnings and good guidance especially in consumer brands or consumer companies is a factor where people can see that uh, there is maybe no recession coming another point and this is a governmental uh, point an argument that i'm uh, putting in is that the federal reserve still has 2.25 basis points of interest rate that they can lower to help the economy to stabilize in case we are going into a recession 
and even uh, you know the government people from uh, US like uh, Munchin uh, you know they are saying that there's no uh, signs uh, whatsoever for a recession 2020 or upcoming recession you know the tax cuts in the US was a very very big success I mean uh, it's part of their job that they have to do it to have uh, to uh, secure the people and make sure that you know people are not afraid going into recession because this can of course cause also a recession or a panic or something similar um, but I think that uh, other signs of the economy also don't point directly into the recession so uh, I think that we can maybe uh, feel secure another year however of course you have to be always caution not uh, Put all your money on the sidelines and say hey I will wait for the next crash because some people waiting for the next crash since 2009 and guess what they are missing out uh, gains the biggest uh, gains uh, from the bull market the last couple of 10 years so it can go further five or ten years you know with cheap money you know if there's not the Fed there's the ECB that uh, you know put money into the market we never had in uh, a very bonds as well so it's crazy what's happening on the market and uh, nobody can uh, for sure tell us when is the recession so I think maybe we are not going into a recession let me know what you think uh, in the comments and see you tomorrow